How far can an EV toll go? You might be surprised by the answer. Today, we'll dive into the latest breakthroughs in electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, exploring how far these innovative machines can fly on a single charge. How does Autoflight's record-breaking achievement stack up against the competition? Welcome to the channel. Let's start with the current king of EV toll range, Autoflight's Prosperity One Gen 4. This aircraft has redefined what's possible for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Autoflight's record-breaking 250-kilometer flight took place on February 23, 2023 at their testing facility. The aircraft flew 20 circuits around a predefined track and was remotely piloted from the ground. The Prosperity One Gen 4 is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics and even used ForeFlight, a widely trusted third-party system, to verify the flight distance. This isn't just impressive, it's historic. Autoflight has beaten the 248-kilometer record set by Joby Aviation in 2021. That's two kilometers farther, putting Autoflight ahead in the EV toll range race. What makes the Gen 4 special? For starters, its cutting-edge design was crafted by Frank Stevenson, a legendary automotive designer behind icons like Ferrari, McLaren, and Mini. The aircraft's hybrid approach uses 10 vertical lift rotors for takeoff and landing, plus three pusher propellers for forward flight. This clever design allows it to transition smoothly from hovering to cruising, a tricky phase that many EV toll companies struggle to master. It runs on a 160 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, delivering a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour, or 124 miles per hour, and a payload capacity of 880 pounds. In short, it's fast, efficient, and can carry a pilot plus four passengers. But here's the big question. What happens when we combine this technology with next generation batteries? Let's talk about CATL, one of the world's leading battery manufacturers and a key partner for Autoflight. CATL recently unveiled a 500 watt hours per kilogram condensed battery, which could completely transform EV toll performance. How? Current EV toll batteries are typically around 250 to 300 watt hours per kilogram, meaning CATL's new tech nearly doubles energy density. This means lighter batteries with the same energy or the same weight with far more range. In fact, CATL demonstrated this in a test flight with a four-ton aircraft, proving it's not just theory. What's even more exciting is the potential range. With CATL's batteries, EV tolls could fly between 1,240 and 1,865 miles in larger aircraft configurations. Imagine flying from New York to Miami on a single charge. While this might take a few years to become commercially viable, the technology is on the horizon. So, what's the highest range you can get on an EV toll today? For now, the record stands at 155 miles, held by Autoflight's Prosperity 1 Gen 4. But the future is bright. With advancements in energy density and partnerships like the one between Autoflight and CATL, we could soon see ranges that completely transform how we think about regional and urban air travel. To put it in perspective, Autoflight's current range is ideal for short city-to-city -city trips or commutes across sprawling metro areas. However, with next-gen batteries, the possibilities extend to interstate flights, regional travel, and beyond. Autoflight isn't alone in this race. Companies like Joby Aviation, Archer Aviation, and Ehang are all pushing the boundaries of EV toll performance. Joby, for instance, focuses on quiet operation with their aircraft reaching speeds of 200 miles per hour and targeting 150-mile ranges. Meanwhile, Archer's Midnight EV Toll plans to serve urban routes with a 100-mile range, emphasizing safety and simplicity for certification. Each company is solving the range problem differently. For example, some are exploring hybrid electric designs, which combine battery power with fuel-based range extenders. These could offer EV tolls the flexibility to cover longer distances without being entirely dependent on battery advancements. Looking ahead, airworthiness certification is the next big step. Autoflight aims to achieve ESA certification for the Prosperity One by 2025, which would make it one of the first fully certified EV tolls ready for commercial use. Combine this with CATL's battery innovations, and we could soon see EV tolls with regional flight capabilities rivaling small airplanes. 
To wrap it up, the highest range for an EV toll today is 250 kilometers, or 155 miles, set by Auto Flight's Prosperity 1 Gen 4. But the industry isn't stopping there. Innovations like CATL's 500 watt hours per kilogram batteries hint at a future where EV tolls could fly 10 times farther, revolutionizing how we think about both urban and regional travel. The future of EV tolls is coming fast. How far will they go next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our related video titled Battery Breakthrough, how Autoflight and CATL are redefining EV toll range.